My first guest was raised by one of the funniest women who ever lived, the legendary Joan Rivers. Yes. <laughs> Joan broke barriers and she paved the way for so many women such as myself in this industry and her daughter was always right by her side. Please welcome Melissa Rivers. <laughs> in some pink patent shoes. And some shoes. simple shoes. Don't we love it? Yes. Girl, I'm telling you, I'm so excited you're here because when you were here, this hadn't happened yet. But I dedicated four of my green rooms after uh, my favorite female comedians, uh, Whoopi Goldberg, Lucille Ball, Marsha Warfield, and Joan Rivers. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And I got to see it. You got to see it. What did you think of my Joan Rivers green room? I think it's beautiful. Oh. I think there's a lot of gold, which is all good. <laughs> the only thing that freaked me out... Okay, what freaked you out? ...was the giant picture because, you know, people always say, do you hear your mother yeah. in your voice? And I'm like, way too much. Ah. So the fact that I was sitting there and she was looking over my shoulder... Yes. ...is I, I might have to call the therapist. <laughs> I know it just meant so much to me, and they were just like, I, we put in there, there was our picture we put in there. See, look at the fear in my face. <laughs> <laughs> do you think, what do you think your mom would say about it? Because I, I, Michael Lee, our art director, did it, but I just lovingly needed him to, to get it to right. Well, first of all, you know she loved you. Yes. And I so loved she would be so pleased, A, that you have the show. Thank you. And absolutely, <laughs> and would be so honored. Thank you she so would much. Be so honored. Now, I brought you something for the dressing room. Oh, would you bring? Oh my gosh! What'd you bring for the dressing room? A little gift for you. Oh, what is that? Well, you gotta open it to see. Oh, okay. I'm, <laughs> I know, huh? Oh my gosh! There's two in there. There's two. These were her beloved. Those were not her dogs. Those she loved dogs. She and loved dogs. Those were actually in her library on the couch. So those they are direct were. from the apartment. Oh, Melissa. And I thought you would enjoy them. You were at the apartment. Yes, right? I was. You probably sat on those dogs. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I just have to say before we keep going, because Joan River said to me after um, I was let go from The View, she said, you're gonna work. And I said, Joan, I don't know if people are gonna remember me in Hollywood. She said, Sherry, funny girls always work. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah. That's what Joan River said to me. So you have two actual from her home. Oh my gosh, Melissa, thank you You're so much. You're so welcome. Girl, you know what, I'm gonna just give you your flowers today. Not even your flowers, I wanna congratulate you on uh, your engagement. I know. You, you are engaged, you got love. I did, and I was very public all the time, and it came back, you know, everyone's like, you always said, said I'll, I'll never get married again. And let me see, how, let me see this ring, how many carrots? It is. <laughs> 5.6, I have him very well trained. Yeah, you have him trained, 5.6 carrots. This is not a carrot, this is like two heads of broccoli yes. right here. This, yes. You, yes. You got him trained, he loves you. And Which um, is, like, we have to check him that he like loves me. And he they, adores you. And he thinks I'm like awesome and funny and not crazy. Okay. So I've got him completely bamboozled. Yeah, I was gonna say, he said he don't think you're crazy. You got him deluded, Oof. we all crazy. Well, still early. We are all crazy. Oh, he's figuring it out. <laughs> He's slowly figuring this out. I love Steve and I love his love for you. He proposed to you on Friday the 13th. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that wasn't, I, on Friday the 13th, like did anything wacky happen? Well, he woke up that morning and he didn't realize it was Friday the 13th. And he's like, do you know what today is? I'm like, Friday the 13th, he goes, you don't have any weird superstitions about Friday the 13th. I'm like, nah, it's all good. Yeah. And did anything happen? I mean, were you oh, just... Oh, it, it, the day went sideways. Oh, what, what happened? Because so, he was supposed to propose. Right, well, so we were in Mexico. Okay. And it was just like one of those... You got a timeshare too? No, but they tried. <laughs> they tried, girl. But they, they, the best timeshare story I have was from the Nobu Hotel, I know we're going off in a tangent. You... The Nobu Hotel in Cabo. And right. you get there and you're like, oh, this is really cool. So they come up before, as you're checking in and say, we have timeshare, blah, blah, blah. 
We'd love to show you the product. They go, eh. They go, you'll get a free Nobu breakfast. That's what I'm talking about. And I had my son and his friend with me. I'm like, oh, those boys can eat their body weight. Mm -hmm. This is all good. And they're like, it's going to be an hour. And I didn't understand that they meant an hour breakfast. Yeah, uh -huh. that time they, Yeah. And then they said, oh, the tour's like four hours. I'm like, no. <laughs> no. And then they came back and they said three hours. I'm like, no. You're good. You said no. Well, it was, I got tempted with the free Nobu breakfast, and I'm looking at my son and his friend, I'm like, oh, those boys can eat enough to put them out of business. Okay, so you are, now I wanna get back, cause I keep looking at this yeah. ring, I'm blinded by the light. So um, Friday the 13th, so Friday we're the 13th. In, the, in Mexico, for people who follow me, I've had multiple hand surgeries this year, so I was in my, finally back in my removable cast. Yes. Which was plastic, so I go to jump in the pool, and I just sort of tossed it on the chair. And I guess it was in the sunny part of the chair. Right. So I get out of the pool, and it had melted to the towel. Oh my gosh. And it was my first week, so I somehow pull it off the towel and there's like fuzz stuck right on it. on the whole thing. And I try and remold it. I'm like, oh, oh this is live. Oh, darn. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's like, I'm like, it's so hot. Steve's so like, jump in the pool and try and remold it. So right. I do that. And it comes out like. Oh, crazy all looking. Lumps and all that. So we get through the day. He's very distracted. We go back to the room and he's, the people were like, oh, you know you have a private dinner this morning, tonight. And I'm like, ugh. Oh my goodness! Well, because, and he goes, he goes, it's what it came with the package. I'm like, the package? He goes, you know, like you get the free breakfast. So you still had no clue. I was, this was weird. Okay. Okay. So we're chilling out, I take a shower, and I'm sort of slowly driving my hair. What we didn't know is there's certain parts of Mexico where depending on what cell tower you are, right. your time changes. Yes. So one side of the resort was one time, the other side was, was the another other. time. So we had no idea better. And we get this call because they have to take you over in little golf carts. And he's like, the guy's outside. I'm like, what? He's like, we're late for dinner. And I'm like, so I literally have like half dried hair, no makeup. And he's like, we do not have time for you to fuss about what you're wearing. Oh my goodness. So I like throw on like a t-shirt dress. My hair is like, woo. And literally like lip gloss and ma mascara. Okay. And I go, well, thank God it's not anything where we're taking pictures tonight. <laughs> 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 so we get to dinner and I'm like, okay, this is kind of, cause he is not romantic and uh -huh. neither am I. So it's right. all good. And there's a boat out in the water, and we spend, I've spent a lot of time on boats, and there's lights flashing on and off. Yes. And I become completely upset, because I obsess, because I think they're gonna hit the jetty, they're gonna do this, this. Yeah. And I'm like, God, what is going on? What is going on? And he's here, and I'm sitting like this, watching the boat. And uh, he says to me, I'm sorry I've been so distracted the past couple days. Okay. And I went, oh, it's fine. And I'm watching the boat. You're paying attention to the boat. And I he's keep discussing, to... I'm like, what? I don't know these signals. What's happening? Oh my goodness! And then he he's like, you know, I love you. And I'm like, uh huh, I love you too. Oh and my I'm goodness! Like, hey. And then he goes, he goes, you know, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I'm like, oh yeah, me too. Uh huh, honey. Oh. And I'm like, what are those lights? And finally he goes, I got you something. And I turn around and the ring was on the table. And that was oh my gosh. But apparently I missed. Oh. And then we went back to the room. This is the best. We go back to the room. We call our kids, who all knew, and he proceeds to pl pass out from the stress. He's like, wham, and that's that. You made it so stressful for him just to propose to you, I did girl. not do it intentionally. Girl, oh my God. That poor man. But but you, but you y'all are engaged. Yes. You are going to get married. I'm engaged. Whew, girl. It is, I, it is amazing, and I sent pictures to my friends that all said apparently hell does freeze over. And so right now we're being engaged. Well, 2025 is a long way. That's away. fine. Just have fun and be engaged and enjoy that season of yeah, being engaged. And I'm not giving that ring back. Yeah. No, you keep this ring. Oh yeah. Keep that ringer. And if you don't want it, I'll take it. And then he goes. And then he goes. Does this count for Christmas and your birthday? And I just stared at him. Mm -mm. And that's why I said, no. Yeah, tell Steve, don't get ahead of himself. No, 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 All right? no, no, no. Well, I, you know what? I also want to give you your flowers because uh, I want to congratulate you because it's doing very well. Your podcast, Group Text. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, you're in Group Text.
Like, is there, and you, you talk about, you've been talking about sports, you've been talking about football this whole time. Like, is there a dream, like, uh, NFL guest that you would love to have on the show? Jason Kelsey and Kylie Kelsey. Oh, They're so like, Travis is a, a sibling. Travis, Travis Kelsey is Jason's brother. Jason's brother. But I'm a Philadelphia Eagles fan. Uh -huh. and, okay. I think we need to have a moment of silence the way the last few games have gone. And I am like, I went to school in Philadelphia. I went to Penn. I feel like I was, you know, didn't grow up really with a team in LA and they left yeah. and this and that and the other. So I always liken, for me, being an Eagles fan kind of like, well, it's a very toxic relationship. Mm -hmm. And I felt like I was in the football foster system. <laughs> and you don't really pick who you get. Yes. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. You know, you just really never know. It's a roll of the dice. But I am obsessed. I listen Wait. to the podcast, New Heights. I do everything. Like, yes. I love him. This man is all that is good about Philly. So we want him on your podcast. And the wife. The wife, his wife is like, because they've been married, they've been like rocking for and a long time. And they have three, time. the best is three they kids. have three daughters. Okay. So he's a girl dad. So I'd like to talk to them about. Yeah, and she's just a goddess. I mean, she's right. just everything. So, so Travis, where not you Travis, are, I don't want Tell I, your brother. I want, tell your brother. Tell your brother. And I want Jason and Kylie. Okay, Jason and Kylie. I was gonna say not Taylor, but I don't want some Swifties getting on me. We want yeah, Jason. By the way, and I am so happy that Taylor is happy. Yes. Like, she deserves it. We all need to leave her alone. Let her be with the boyfriend who's like the first real man. I yes, think so let it, let it she get with doesn't, him. He doesn't look like one of the, like an ill Victorian he looks like child. A little girl. Yes. And you know he's. Uh, well, we're gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna have a good time.